When you are working with multiple windows and applications at one time, your desktop can become very cluttered, which can make it hard to navigate between the windows. Let's take a look at some of the features that Windows 7 includes to make it easier to navigate and work with the open windows. The first feature that I want to show you is the keyboard shortcut Alt Tab. To use this, just hold down the Alt key and then press the Tab key. A small window will appear that shows you a preview of each window that you have open. To change the current window that you are working on, just hit the Tab key until that window you would like to go to is highlighted. Then let go of both keys. Now that window has become the front window and I can continue to work without having to take my hands off the keyboard. With Windows 7 Arrow, this feature has been approved upon with better graphics to make it a little easier to view the windows that you have open. Instead of hitting Alt Tab, try the Windows tab instead. To do this, just hold down the button on the keyboard with the Windows logo on it. Then hit the Tab key. We can see how much easier it makes it to view the open windows because of the larger images. Windows also includes a feature called Windows Snap to make it easier to maximize and place windows side by side on the desktop. To use Windows Snap, grab the window by the top bar and then drag the window to the very top of the screen. When you hit the top of the screen, you can see that a transparent box fills the screen. And when I let go of the mouse button, the window fills the entire screen. To return the window to its original size, just grab it from the top again and pull it down. The snap feature is also handy when placing two windows side by side. Open up two programs or windows on your desktop. Then grab one of the windows from the top and drag it over to the right edge of the screen until you see a transparent window fill half the screen. Then let go. Now take the other window and do the same thing on the other side. This comes in handy when moving files from one window to another or when doing research. The last feature that I want to talk to you about is called Windows Shake. You can see right now that I have multiple windows open on my desktop. If I want to close all the other windows on the desktop except the one that I'm working on, click and hold on the top of the window. Now give the window a shake. You can see that it minimized all of the other windows that were behind it. To bring back the windows, just shake it again. This concludes a video on how to control open windows on the desktop.